The earth is ripe. The Lord will use nations to, to, to reap everything. But until that time, we pray and beg the Lord to have mercy, to bring us back to Him before it's too late. So he who sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. So there is no escape. There is no escape from the sickle of Christ. He's going to come and, and reap the whole world. The Lord uses nations. Today it's America. Tomorrow it's going to be Russia or China. <laughs> oh, Habibi. No more tabule. What is this telling me and you? I beg you, all the young men and women that are here and that are watching us through live streaming, especially the young men and women, and everyone, mom, dad, grandfather, grandmother, but especially the young ones. I beg you, I beg of you, I beg you, don't ever lose track of who you are and what you are and who purchased you with his life, with his precious blood, who delivered you from eternal hell, from eternal death, from sin, from condemnation, who came and died and suffered for you and me and all of us. Don't ever lose track of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I beg of you, don't go where the Lord disapproves of. Don't do the things which the Lord is upset and is offended of. Please, please, please stop calling friends that are destructive to your life. Stop calling people they are the best where they take you to the wrong places for the wrong reasons. For the Lord's sake, stop mixing, associating yourself with such people. Pray for them, but don't be with them. Walk away because we can't guarantee I will stay here tomorrow. There is no guarantee. I may sleep, never wake up. I may walk out of the church and never to be seen again because no one can guarantee this life except Jesus, the crown of glory, the King of all kings who died and rose from the dead in the flesh, all glory to his holy and mighty name. I beg you, I beg you, don't do what the world is doing. Do not imitate. You are beautiful in your father's eyes, in your heavenly father's eyes. You don't need to be beautiful for the world. A deceptive, poisonous world. Who says you need to go to Istanbul to have a facelift? Why aren't you laughing? See, then you're not expecting the same. Or they going all the way to the other side of the world from Australia to change their looks. Why? Why you're beautiful as you are? God wanted you this way. Thank God for the looks He's given you. Thank Him. Don't puff up your face and your lips, my daughter. Don't. Who gives one penny about people and what they think of you? Let Christ see you beautiful. The Lord will always look at your heart, my child. Your heart. Your heart. Let's make this heart beautiful for the Lord. Not the looks, because the sickle is coming. The reaping, the, the reaping is coming. The time is coming. Everything is going to be reaped. Everything is going to be burned. Everything is going to be destroyed. What? Facial changes. Be close to the Lord. Be close to His holy house. Be close to His holy word. The Bible, the holy Bible. Be close.